A five-year-old girl who went missing after a Bemidji house fire has been found alive and has been reunited with her family. One man has been arrested for kidnapping. Our Brenda Mack is live in the studio to tell us more. Brenda? Yes, Jackson. Parents are relieved to hold their daughter in their arms again. Just early this morning, investigators found Brittany Balser in a pop-up camper an hour away from Bemidji. The suspect was arrested last night. She's uh, safe and alive. After a long night search, a young girl is finally home with her family again. Brittany Balser was found at around 5 this morning at an area near Big Fork after the suspect voluntarily spoke with detectives the night before. Early this morning, two BCA agents were canvassing an area north of Bemidji where they believed Mr. Kin had been. They discovered fresh tire tracks. They followed the tire tracks through a wooded area where they located a pop-up camper. Inside, they found Brittany. Balser went missing after visiting a Bemidji home that caught fire and killed one person. Family friends say the victim was a close family friend that Balser frequently visited. But she's always happy, always in a good mood, you know, always laughing, always smiling. She would have been so scared, you know. She, you know, she does get nervous around things, so if she'd have seen flames, fire, or anything like that, she would have been very scared. 32-year-old Jacob William Kin has been arrested for kidnapping. Kin was convicted of possessing child pornography in 2013. Investigators believe the suspect has connection to the victim. We went there because of uh, investigative leads. Um, actually, it came out of cell tracking. And um, we utilized that technology uh, to help us save her. Now we have shifted gears and we are looking at learning everything we can about this timeline, the motive, and whether anyone else was involved. Investigators believe this could be a homicide. We are waiting on official autopsy results from the Ramsey County Medical Examiner. Ken is currently being held in Beltrami County Jail, awaiting formal charges. All right, thanks, Brenda. The name of the house fire victim has not yet been released. We will keep bringing you the details as they become available on Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.